Yes, once again very warm welcome in Lisanix for my lecture. In today's video I am going to talk about lexical categories and functional categories. This topic comes under the heading of syntax. You know syntax, it's, this is a level of language in which we study the structure of a sentence, how different words, phrases and clauses come together to form a sentence. What are the constituents of a sentence and what are different properties of those constituents and what kind of relationship that exists among those constituents which become the part of the sentence. So the basic constituent, the basic building block of the sentence is word. If we look at the hierarchy of the sentence, first we have word and then phrase and then clause and later on we the broader level of this hierarchy becomes the sentence. So we are going to talk about the word. Word are the building blocks of sentence and different words perform different functions in sentence. On the basis of functions which are performed by words in different sentences, we have categorized the words into two categories. First one is lexical category and second one is functional category. First, uh, before going into the detail of the differences between lexical and functional category, let me tell you what is category. Category basically means a class of expression which shares common characteristics. On the basis of common characteristics, on the basis of certain functions which are performed by that particular class, we classify into different categories or classes. So first one is lexical. As you know the word lexical suggests that lexeme that is related to vocabulary, unit of meaning. So lexical categories are contentives. What does it mean? It means these categories convey the content, main message, main meaning, right? That is why we call these categories as contentives. And what are those? These are noun, verb, adjective and adverbs these categories take part these categories take more part in conveying the meaning in conveying the main message conveying the content of the message that is why we bring these nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs under the category of lexical category on the other hand if if you look at functional categories as the word suggests function it performs functional aspect of the sentence. It serves as a functional relationship uh, um, among the different constituents of the sentence. It, it, these categories don't take part in conveying meaning, rather these categories take more part in establishing grammatical relationship amongst different constituents or amongst different words of a sentence. That is why we call these categories as functors because they perform different functions, they establish different kind of relationship amongst the words of the sentence, that is why we call functors. So lexical categories are contentives and functional categories are functors on the basis of the functions performed by these categories. Uh, we include determiners, auxiliaries, conjunctions, complementizers, preposition and particles under the heading of functional categories. We will be discussing in detail what do we mean by determiners, right? And how determiners are further divided like articles or also the part of determiners, possessive uh, pronouns or also the part of like my book. These are also the part of determiners and demonstrative pronouns like this, that, these, those are also the part of determining the same way how auxiliaries are defined, what are the primary auxiliaries, what are the secondary auxiliaries and how these are different from uh, model verbs in the same way conjunction, there are coordinating conjunctions, subordinate conjunctions and many other parts we will be discussing in detail in coming classes and complementizer and how complementizer is different from subordinate class as subordinate 
word subordinate conjunctions introduce subordinate class in the same way there are certain words which are uh, which which introduce complementizer class right we'll be discussing in detail in the same way preposition simple preposition compound preposition single word double word triple word and particles how particles are different from prepositions particles are changeable prepositions are not changeable we can't change the position of preposition but we can change the position of particles in a sentence although apparently prepositions and particles apparently look in the same way appearances are almost same but there is technical difference uh, we'll be talking about all these concepts in coming classes so the next difference is variable lexical categories are variable what does it mean it means that we can add uh, certain uh, affixations we can uh, these lexical categories can undergo the process of affixation affixation means the process of adding attaching prefixes or suffixes with the word so we can change the form or shape of lexical categories for example we have noun that can be changed singular to plural that can also be changed into possessive form in the same way verb can also uh, give different aspects in different sentences so lexical the same case is with adjective we have comparative degree we have superlative degree so these categories can be changed we can uh, morphologically add certain prefixes infixes or suffixes with lexical categories on the other hand we are unable to add prefixes or suffixes with functional categories for example determiner this that a and these articles remain same we are unable to attach any prefix or suffix with these determiner these functors the same case is with auxiliaries like is am are was were has have had these are all auxiliaries we can't add we can't add prefix or we can't add suffix with these auxiliaries same case with conjunctions like we have fan wise coordinating conjunctions like for and n, n stands for nor in the same way there are number of other coordinating conjunction that will be discussed in detail in coming classes so these are functional categories are invariable what does it mean that we can't add prefixes or suffixes we can't bring any kind of change we can't make change in functional categories the last one lexical categories are considered as open class words open class words mean these words allow us to change their form we can add or we can remove certain affixes with the uh, stem word in lexical categories for example we have the word uh, anti disestablishmentarianism right so we can add anti we can delete nism ism or certain other prefixes or suffixes that is why these words are open to be added uh, for the addition of new prefixes are for the deletion you can add as well as you can delete certain prefixes or suffixes infixes affixes so that is why we call lexical categories as open class words on the other hand we are not allowed to add or delete any prefix suffix infix in functional categories that is why this class belongs to the closed class words so this is all about the major differences between lexical category and functional category we'll be talking about in detail uh, regarding the concepts of noun verb adjective adverb and certain functional categories in coming videos and we'll be discussing certain features as i told you in syntax we study what are the constituent elements what are the elements that make up a sentence and the second part is what are the properties what are the characteristics of these sentences so in next class we'll be uh, discussing the morphological syntactic and semantic properties of these lexical categories thank you so much for your